We just got an update on Bo, which is the newest dApp being developed by Team Kujira. To quickly catch you up, Bo is a series of liquidity pools and vaults designed to make the Fin order book decks more usable. To understand what that means and how it works, let's look at why Bo needed to be created in the first place. The biggest issue that Fin, and by extension the Kujira ecosystem has currently, is how to attract enough liquidity to allow large players to make trades on their order book decks without unreasonable amounts of slippage. Protocols like Osmosis attract liquidity by essentially minting new Osmo tokens to pay people who provide liquidity on their platform. Team Kujira, on the other hand, built their ecosystem with the belief that a token that is constantly being inflated to attract liquidity ultimately loses value and, in the long term, such a token's ecosystem isn't sustainable. This stance of non-inflation is part of the reason that Finn has such low trading volume for the majority of its pairs. Actually, it's more accurate to say that this stance on non-inflation is why the spreads on Finn's order books were so large, and those large spreads are why there is so little trading volume on the majority of Finn's order books. A spread is a term that refers to the difference between the lowest price someone is willing to sell an asset for and the highest price someone is willing to buy that asset for. Let's look at the Evmos USDC pair on Fin as an example. The current spread is between $0.62 cents and $0.88, cents, and the current price is $0.75. Cents. The issue for Fin is that while the price is inside of that spread, there will likely be no trading activity because the vast majority of people won't want to pay $0.88 cents for something they could buy for $0.75 or sell for 62 cents something they could sell for 75. This is where Bo comes in. Bo is designed to fill in the spread by allowing users to supply concentrated liquidity. Let me give you a short explanation. Typically, when you provide liquidity, you have to provide for every conceivable price ratio for each asset from zero to infinity. Effectively, that means that the majority of your assets that are in liquidity pools aren't really doing anything even though they're in the pool. Concentrated liquidity, by contrast, allows you to provide liquidity for only a small portion of the price curve. Bo intends to use that concentrated liquidity and fuse it with a grid bot to fill in the spread. Bo has actually been live and operational on Kujira mainnet since around the 25th of November, even though it's been private. And even with a relatively small amount of liquidity added, you can already see the effects it's had. When a spread is large, you can get these comically large candles and gaps that you see here on the left. As they test out and improve Bo, you can see that the spread tightened over the next few days, as evidenced by the price action seeming less erratic. Now, this should have a few positive effects. Number one being that it will tighten the spreads while rewarding LP providers with non-inflationary yield for providing the liquidity necessary. Two is that it should facilitate an increase in trading activity for pairs that are implemented on Bow because tighter spreads lead to more arbitrage opportunities. Three, if there is an increase in trading activity, that should lead to more yield for Kuji stakers and validators. The team recently stated that Kuji, Adam, and USK will comprise the pairs that they incentivize first when Bo launches sometime over the next few weeks. Yes, I did say incentivize. Lonnie Merrick had the same question I did. Basically, he asked, where will these incentives originate from? And Team Kujira answered by saying, yeah, we are taking a tiny portion of operational funds in order to drive this, nothing printed, etc. We see this as the best possible marketing exercise to get people to use Bo, Finn, Orca, USK, and the rest of the ecosystem starting to bloom. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Kuji stands out because they don't use inflationary rewards to generate liquidity. To change that now would be a mistake in my opinion. Like my crypto asked, What's the technical difference between Black Whale Exact? Team Kujira responded by saying, Bo will have much tighter spreads and the ability for anyone to incentivize pools. Black Whale is a great tool and both will exist in harmony. But yeah, Bo has a huge focus on making Finn optimal. Therefore, all protocols building on Kujira too. Calc, etc. I think it's completely true that Black Whale, which is essentially a grid bot as a service dApp, and Bo both exist without controversy. Price volatility will determine where the highest yields are, and I would expect capital to flow from one to the other as the APRs fluctuate. Since they mentioned them, I also think Calc Finance is a great tool if you want to automate your dollar cost averaging. If, however, you want to learn to create these kind of bots for yourself, you should check out my Coding Crypto Bot series. I'm starting off explaining step by step how to interact with the blockchain, and we're working towards making dollar cost averaging and arbitrage bots, specifically on Kujira. Anyway, that's it for this one, guys. If you have any questions or comments, reach out to me on Twitter 
or leave me a message in the comments. I'll see you in the next video, and as always, we'll keep talking about getting more coins.